Managing your restaurant's capacity with EDAP is a breeze, and when set up correctly, will allow your restaurant to run on autopilot without you ever having to lift a finger. In EDAP, you set up capacity management through shifts. To begin, navigate to the Shifts tab from the Settings window. From here, you'll be able to see all your current active and inactive shifts on the left-hand side, while on the right, you'll be able to adjust and fine-tune individual shifts to your liking. Now, let's say I want to set up a weekend brunch shift that takes place every Saturday. Even though my restaurant can accommodate 300 guests, I don't want my capacity to exceed 150 at any point to give my kitchen staff a chance to keep up with all the orders. The brunch will run from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m., but I don't want any guests showing up past 7 to give every guest a full brunch experience. In addition to this, my team needs to know at least an hour in advance that a customer is coming, and when they arrive, we don't want them staying more than an hour and a half as this brunch is usually super busy, and I want to turn tables as fast as possible without exceeding my set capacity. Let's now see how this translates to the settings within EDAP. Start by clicking New Shift. The first thing we'll do is give the shift a name and set the shift type to Recurring, since we want the shift to recur every week on a specific day. In this scenario, it's Saturday. We want the shift to start today and run indefinitely, so we'll add a start date and leave the end date blank. The first seating will be at 12 p.m., and we want our last seating at 7 p.m., even though the brunch runs until 8. If you have any preferences for the minimum and maximum party sizes that can book a table, this is where you would do so. Since this shift is aimed at managing capacity regardless of the table availability, we will set the availability type to volume. We will also toggle use pacing, which will essentially pace our capacity out to the volume we set. In this case, it's 150. This means that in every interval of our shift, the system will not allow our restaurant to exceed 150 covers. We will now change the notice period to one hour to give our staff enough of a heads up before the guest arrives, and we will set the duration to one hour and a half to make sure that no guest stays longer than they should. Now that we're done, let's click Create Shift. Your Capacity Managed Shift is now ready to be used. If we hop on over to Timeline View, you can see it in action. At the top of every time interval, you can see how many covers you have remaining for your shift. Adding in a reservation will update these remaining covers and will always make sure you never exceed your limit. When you want to turn the shift off, just head back to the shift settings and uncheck Shift Active. You've now learned how you can use shifts to manage capacity at a restaurant with EDAP. Thanks for watching.